Let me show you how to install this leaderboard into your course. So the first thing you have to do is log into your course and I'm using my sandbox to do this. But once you're in your course, what you're going to want to do is click on the home tab. This will take you to where all these uh, different modules are. The next step is to click on the add course module. And as you scroll down your screen, you're going to see one for this leaderboard for Game Gaji leaderboard. And all you're going to do is click on add. That is it. You have now added the leaderboard. So let's scroll back up to the top. I'm going to click back on home. And the leaderboard naturally has been added to the bottom. And there we have it. So I'm going to move this. So we move it, just click on it, click on the, the drag arrow or the drag tool. And we are going to bring that up and I'm going to put it, well, with a little help here, I'm going to drag it up to the very top of my course. Matter of fact, I'm going to just move it over to the next column. So I want that, that visible. So as you can see in this, this is the instructor's view because I can see the names. Students won't be able to see the names and I'll show you that in a second. <clears throat> I put in some scores for these individuals so you can see how they are ranked according to the scores that I provided. And I've also added some basic levels that I want them to, to kind of work through, right? And this is something that you can do. Uh, to take care of those things, on the leaderboard, up in the upper right hand corner, you have this gear and this is your settings. So you click on that and you can make changes to the leaderboard at this point, uh, configure it the way you want it. First, you can decide upon color. So depending on how you want the bars to look. Next, you can set the levels for the students. So uh, they may have to work through levels in your particular course. So I have in my course a thousand points that they need to collect. And so I could very easily work them through different levels. Uh, if you want, you can just, you know, let them know at this point they have a, an F, a D, a C, you know, a C, a B, and finally an A. And that's, uh, that's entirely up to you. If you want, you can hide some students. Um, not sure how I would use that, but that's a possibility. And then finally, you get to choose which grade column that you wish to um, use as a measurement. In my case, I'm using the total score, but I could very well um, select any of these other scores and you know choose one of those. So it's really up to your course on how you do this. When you have it set up the way you want it, click on Submit. And now as you go through your normal grading, as you put in the grades, this leaderboard will continuously update. There's nothing else that you have to do with it. It, it just works uh, as expected. So let's show it in the, the student role. So I'm going to log in and basically I'm going to be this preview user because uh, that's what the student role will show up as. And let me click on the home button. And so now you can see that you are indicated by a different color. You'll have your score next to it um, as a student, so the student's view. And then this is where I sit in comparison to the other students in the class. So this is, you know, basically what the leaderboard does, where you stand at this moment in time. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, come down and uh, talk to us in the Thai Synergy Center. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see other videos that I've created, go ahead and click on the submit button. 
But uh, thank you, and uh, enjoy.